Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we want to learn how to transpose a matrix in R. Now sometimes when you get um, a table of data in the form of a matrix you might want to swap the columns and the rows around. So we want to learn how to do this first of all with a very simple matrix and then you look at an example as to how we might apply this. So first of all I'm going to create a very very simple matrix on line 4 in my code here. I'm creating a matrix called table using the matrix function. The matrix is going to consist of 12 values, one, numbers 1 to 12. I'm going to specify that these be the, split, the matrix has four rows. Uh, this will mean because I have 12 values that I have, will have three columns. I don't need to specify that because R is able to figure that out. And I want my data to be listed by row. So I want 1, 2 and 3 to be in the first row, 4, 5 and 6 to be in the second row and so on. So let me create this uh, matrix called table and print this matrix out. So we can see here at the bottom, here's my matrix. We don't have any column names or row names, or just by number at the moment. But you can see we've got um, four rows, one, two, three in the first row, and four, five, six, and so on in the second and subsequent rows. So let's say I want to swap those around. I want to swap the data that is in the columns and turn it into rows, and vice versa. So the way to do this is very simple. It's a function called t, t for transpose transpose the function and then uh, just uh, add in the uh, matrix name table in my case here that's what I called it and so when I run this piece of code very simple and I'm going to extend the console here so we can compare both tables so there is my original matrix that I created called table with the four rows and three columns and then when I've transposed this uh, table swapped them around I now have four columns and three rows you can see in the first table the numbers one to two and three in the first row are now have been transposed that they are now in the first column so you can see all the four columns there matching the four rows in the first instance so now what I'm going to do is take a look at a, a small example using basketball data. So I have on my clipboard some code to read a file. So I'm going to paste this in. We've learned how to read files already. And in this case here, I'm creating a matrix called SAL NBNA. So this data is taken from the NBNA, National Basketball Association, uh, salary details. I've stored them in a temporary data file called 52 underscore data underscore file dot CSV. So it's a CSV format file, which I've created from the NBA website. And uh, that file, um, plus all other files I'm using in this series of videos and our scripts are available in my GitHub, the link to which you'll find in the information area below this video. So I'm going to read this file in. So let me run this piece of code and display the salary details. So we can see here we've got the uh, your, some, some well-known basketball players and we've got the years in, col in columns and the player names in rows. Now, supposing you wanted to swap these around, so you wanted to view the data um, by year in rows and for each basketball player in the columns. So as before, it's a, use the, the simple uh, T function. So in line 15, T under um, opening and closing brackets, and my matrix name, which is in our case here, Sal, Sal NBA. So let me run that, and I transpose this and swap them around. And you can see now, when we compare the pieces of code the outputs we can see we now have the player names uh, in the columns and the uh, years in the rows now this is useful to be able to do this so, so for example if you wanted to uh, draw a plot of these data based on the players rather than on the years so we swap them around so sometimes we don't get the data in the format that we want it when we are uh, using using data like this so transposing data is a very simple technique i uh, hope you found this video useful thank you for your attention